Praise is what I do, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony, and our topic today is spiritual warfare. Who is our enemy? Praise is what I do as I help you to determine who is our enemy. According to scripture, our enemy is Satan, that old serpent, the devil, our adversary. He is absolutely mentioned throughout scripture. In John 10.10, 10, the thief comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus' words. He said, I have come that they might have life and life more abundantly. So we know that the two have to be in opposition to one another. Our enemy, Hasatan, Satan, the adversary, the devil, that old serpent. According to Luke 10, 18, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Jesus said, I seen Satan fall from heaven. He was kicked out. And he is our enemy, not other believers, not other denominations, not non-believers. Our enemy, our strong enemy is Satan and his hordes. Who is our enemy? In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, it states that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Satan has a hierarchy. And if he has a hierarchy, he copied it from our Lord and Savior, our Master, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, God in the flesh, Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan counterfeits everything that our Lord has ever created. He is our strong enemy. James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Many folks just say resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Not true. You have to submit yourself therefore unto God. Submitting everything to him. And he will give you the power to resist the the devil. Then and only then, through the power of Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of holiness, will you be able to resist the devil and him flee from you after you have submitted. Our strong enemy, according to Ephesians 4.27, it says, never give place to the devil. Saints, never give him a reason to be in your life because he is always stalking you, mocking you, talking to you. Don't listen. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and they will not listen to another. He knows you and the enemy knows who you are and where you are. Neither give place to the devil. Don't give him any area of your life, saints, because if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. You let him in the car, he'll be driving before you know it. 1 Peter 5, 8, our strong enemy, as a lion, saints. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. He may want to devour you. But if you're submitted to the Lord and you're obeying the Lord and you're living holy, yeah, think about that. If you go all the way back to Job, Job, the guy that had all the trouble, lost everything, still wouldn't curse God, yeah, it's not Job, it's Job. In chapter 1, verse 7, and the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord, and he said, From 
going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down. Satan is constantly on the move. He cannot be in every place at every time. He is not God. He is not omniscient. He is not omnipresent. He is not omnipotent. Those are three words that God is and Satan ain't. It's just that simple. But he does have a hierarchy. Principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places, according to Ephesians 6.12. Remember that hierarchy. They are everywhere. There's a network of them. Saints, we're protected as long as we are in Christ. I love Revelation chapter 20, verse 2. Because this is what Satan knows. And if you know, then you have the knowledge to put him in his place and give him no place in you. Revelation 20, verse 2. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Wow. We have that promise. Remind your enemy where he's going. Remind him what his end is. And remind him what your end is, saints. Your end, if you endure unto the end, your end is with Christ for eternity. That's motivation enough to live a sin-free life. Not sin less. That doesn't mean you can go out and sin less and less and finally make it. That means sin free, without sin. Only the blood of Jesus can give you that promise. We're forgiven, saints. Let's start acting like it. Who is your enemy? Who is my enemy? Who is our enemy? The devil. Principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Sin crouches at the door. Don't open the door and let sin in. Rebuke the devil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not give place to the enemy. His sister with a testimony praise is what I do saints spiritual warfare who is our enemy you know who our enemy is and we have an advocate with the father who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth 1st John chapter 1 verse 9 if we confess our sins he is just and faithful to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness I plead and apply the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach over you to hide protect and keep you and in Jesus name Amen.